Okay. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst from Highland Hill Farm. I'm here, I'm in charge of growing a plant at Highland Hill Farm. And today I'm going to discuss to you how to fertilize the arborvita. First off, before we do any fertilizer, we, we have to identify what kind of plant this is. And just with about all arborvitas, they are considered to be an indeterminate plant. An indeterminate plant means that it can grow any amount of growth it can sustain in this growing season based on the environmental conditions that it is in. For example, if it's in a drought, it won't grow as much as if it was raining about once every week. Uh, when we start fertilizing, we use something called Osmocote, which is this stuff right here. This is a pelletized slow release fertilizer, and our concentrate is 17, 17, 17. When we apply the fertilizer, we just dump it into our hands, kind of just like this. And we go over and we just do a light application just to the surface of the plant, just kind of like that. We don't need to put a lot on because it'll, there's enough in here for the plant to survive. And we just spread it around just like that, not a lot. If you put too much on there, you risk burning the roots with salt burn and or a lot of times it just leeches, leeches away and ends waste product. Uh, with fertilizing plants, it is important for greenery and for growth, but predominantly the number one factor that, that plants have for growth is the amount of water, either too much or too little. So fertilizer is a good start, but watering is much more important. If you have any other questions, please contact us at 215-651-8329. We're here at Highland Hill Farm and these are our three foot emerald green arborvitas next to our three to four foot green giant arborvitas. These emerald greens are very slow growing. They'll grow to 10 to 15 foot. They grow about six inches a year. And we sell these for wind breaks and barriers and for screens on property lines. They're good for screening off a swimming pool, a, a small property that has a, a property between two two neighbors you could screen off there. Uh, it has to be full sun and it has to be very, very good soil. It doesn't like wet soil or poorly drained soil. If you have wet or poorly drained soil, this, pro this product probably won't survive. We plant them about three foot apart on center. They will, it's fall right now here, it's in November or October, and you can see in the inside you see some dieback. That's called fall needle loss. It's typical of this plant. Most evergreens do do that. They lose about one third of their foliage a year. When we plant large amounts of them for you, we always put a drip water system down like this. You can see it's working. And uh, that's what helps keep these plants so lush and healthy looking. We uh, deliver and plant them up and down the East Coast. And we can do upwards to 100 of them a day for you, if that's the number you want, with our one crew of three men. And next to it over here, this is our cherry laurel. This is the Auto Lucan's cherry laurel that's getting ready to go out on a job. So we have a wide selection of trees, plants, and shrubs. We also have Leland cypress, like right over here. Those are our four to five foot Lelands. And down over in here, there's some taller five to six foot cryptomeria, Yoshino. And throughout the yard, if you were to come to visit us at 5275 West Swamp Road, you'd see hundreds of different types of trees, plants, and shrubs that we sell, from both things like perennials to small shrubs to large caliper trees. Way down in the yard you can see the bigger green giants that we have and some of the other trees and shrubs. We also have Japanese maples, knockout roses, and a whole range of hollies and other plants for your landscape needs. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.
brakes and barriers and for screws.